Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain spectral components of angle modulation. Not only that, I will also explain power requirement of angle modulation and bandwidth requirement of angle modulation. And based on this video, you can solve many examples based on university examination and competitive examination. So I request you to see this video till last. First of all, let me talk about what is angle modulation. See in angle modulation, angle of carrier signal changes with respect to message signal. In angle modulation, we have two categories. First category is frequency modulation and second category is phase modulation. Based on frequency and phase modulation, I have already made video in this video lecture series. If you talk about spectral component, of angle modulation then spectral component of frequency and phase modulation that is identical so frequency and phase modulation that is having identical spectral components so here what i'll do is i'll consider equation of frequency modulation and based on equation of frequency modulation i will explain you spectral components of angle modulation here if you consider carrier signal is vc sine of omega ct and message signal Vm cos of omega mt, then in frequency modulation, equation is Vc sine of omega ct plus Mf sine of omega mt. Here Mf that is modulation index. This Mf that is delta f divided by fm. This delta f is frequency deviation. And this fm that is frequency of message signal. This equation that I have already derived in my earlier theory videos of this frequency modulation. By considering this equation, one can identify spectral components. To understand spectral components, you need to understand Bessel's function. See, based on Bessel's function, this equation that can be elaborated in this form. So here you need to understand what is the meaning of each and every term. Like you can observe here we have Vc. So Vc is common with respect to this entire term. This entire term is sine of omega ct plus mf sine of omega mt. So this term that is algebraic sum of Bessel's coefficient you can observe. See this first coefficient of Bessel's coefficient that is j0. Along with j0 we have carrier means we have sine of omega ct that is this. And then Algebraic sum of first sideband, second sideband, third sideband, fourth sideband. That is how algebraic addition of sidebands is there. See with first sidebands, Bessel's coefficient is J1. Into we have upper sideband with first sideband that is having frequency omega c plus omega m. And with first sideband, lower sideband is having frequency omega c minus omega m. See, second sideband is having coefficient j2. That is having frequency omega c plus 2 omega m. That is there with second sideband, upper sideband. And with second sideband, lower sideband frequency is omega c minus 2 omega m. Likewise, we have second sideband, third sideband and fourth sideband. And with respect to sideband, Bessel's coefficients are j0, j1, j2, j3, j4 respectively. Here there are a few basics that you need to understand regarding this equation. See here with carrier, what is the amplitude of FM? Amplitude is Vc into J0. With first sideband, here we have amplitude that is Vc into J1. With upper sideband, we have amplitude Vc into J1. With lower sideband, amplitude is Vc into J1. With second sideband, amplitude is Vc into J2 with upper sideband and lower sideband. So that is how amplitude of each sideband that is there. Here this Bessel's coefficients J0, J1, J2, J3, J4 that is purely depending on this modulation index MF. And this Bessel's coefficient that one can understand based on table. See here J0, J1, J2 those are Bessel's function. And its value is depending on modulation index M of F. Let me explain how it is depending. If you observe the table over here, then here horizontally we have Bessel's coefficient. Like see here we have J0 
that is associated with carrier. Here we have J1 that is associated with first sideband. Here we have J2 that is associated with second sideband. Likewise, sidebands are increasing over here. Here if you observe modulation index, then here with modulation index, we have initial value that is 0. If you observe, if you have modulation index that is 0, then only carrier is available. You can observe here if modulation index is 0, then this term is 0. So only Vc sine of omega ct is available with respect to this equation. Here we have Vc j0 sine of omega ct and other elements will be 0. What it means this j0 that has to be 1 in case of modulation index is equals to 0. Right. Here as you increase modulation index, what is happening? As you increase modulation index, you can observe here sidebands are increasing. So you need to note down this observation. See as you increase modulation index, number of sidebands are increasing over here. Right. Like if you have modulation index 0.25, then with J1 we have value 0.12 and carrier J0 is having value 0.98. If you have modulation index 0.5, then we have J0, J1 and J2 and values are mentioned over here. Right. So as you increase modulation index, number of sidebands are increasing. That is what first observation that you need to keep in your mind. Now let me talk about other observations. See second observation that is based on value of J0 to be 0. You can observe over here this J0 is 0 at 2.41 modulation index. Over here J0 is 0 at 5.53 modulation index and over here J0 is 0 at 8.65 this J0 is 0. What it means? It means at this modulation index we have eigenvalues of modulation index right at eigenvalues of modulation index j0 coefficient is 0 means carrier is absent over here right if you observe few coefficients are negative you can observe few coefficients are negative what it means it means at that sideband we have 180 degree phase reversal so we have sideband available but with negative value we have Bessel's coefficient. What it means? With that particular sideband, we have 180 degree phase reversal. Right. So here these are the basic points that you need to note down and based on this table, you can identify how magnitude of sideband that is there with FM signal. So with carrier, we have J0 coefficient. So amplitude of carrier will be J0 into VC. With first sideband, we have upper sideband and lower sideband with which amplitude will be Vc into J1. Likewise with second, third and fourth sideband based on the values you can identify amplitude. Right. Now let me discuss about observation from Bessel function table. So first observation that is based on first term of equation. See first term of equation here if you observe this is first term. So that explains carrier. Frequency is omega c. So carrier is having amplitude that is Vc into J0. So this first term that explains carrier, right. And in table you will have to observe what is the value based on modulation index, right. See second observation that says that FM wave consists infinite number of sidebands and those sidebands are depending on modulation index. So based on table you can understand how much magnitude is there with different sidebands, right. If you have higher value of modulation index, then number of sidebands will be more. There could be infinite number of sidebands. See next observation that explains you amplitude. See amplitude of carrier will be Vc into J0. With first sideband it will be Vc into J1. With second sideband it will be Vc into J2. So amplitude that will be carrier amplitude into Bessel's coefficient, right. So with first sideband, we will be having J1. With second sideband, we will be having J2. Likewise, one can understand amplitude of sideband and amplitude of carrier, right. See next observation that explains that as if you have Bessel's function and as if it is negative, then there is 180 degree phase shift for given sideband. 
and that is what I have explained you in table, right? With table, if you have negative coefficient, then you need to understand this. There is 180 degree phase reversal with given side bend, right? See, next observation that states that for certain value of modulation index, carrier component will disappear completely. Those values are eigenvalues. So in table, I have told you for few values of modulation index, carrier component that is J0, that is 0. What it indicates? It indicates here modulation index is having eigenvalues, right? Here, if you observe next observation that states that transmitted power remains always constant. It is not dependent on modulation index. Transmitted power with Fm is always constant. And what is that? See, from this first equation, you can understand this. It is square of the amplitude divided by 2R, where R is load resistance. See this R, that is load resistance, right? So power will be square of the voltage divided by 2R, right? So that is average power. So this average transmitted power, that is this. If you want to understand this based on this Bessel's coefficients, then here, along with this, we will be having summation of Jn, where n is ranging from minus infinite to plus infinite, and that summation will be having value 1, right? So this transmitted power, that is not dependent on modulation index, right? It is not also depending on this J0, J1, J2, J3. See, power of sideband, power of carrier, that is dependent on this Bessel's coefficient. But total transmitted power of FM signal, that is not dependent on modulation index or it is not dependent on Bessel's coefficients, right? Now, let me discuss about bandwidth of FM signal. See, bandwidth of FM signal, ideally it will be infinite. Why? The reason is there can be infinite number of sidebands. So, bandwidth is practically depending on how many sidebands are there. And sidebands are depending on modulation index. As you increase the modulation index, number of sidebands will increase, right? So, theoretically, bandwidth is infinite. But practically, we can calculate that as per 2FM. See, this 2FM, that is a bandwidth of one sideband. And into number of significant sideband that we need to do. Like with modulation index 0.25, we have only one sideband. So, we'll be having bandwidth that is 2FM. But if you increase value of modulation index, then number of sidebands will increase. And based on that, you need to understand what is the significant sidebands and based on that you can identify effective bandwidth. So this is one way by having analogy you can identify bandwidth. But to understand bandwidth, Carson have explained one rule. So second method is based on Carson's rule. And that rule states that bandwidth is two times of delta F plus FM. Here this delta F that is frequency deviation. And this frequency deviation that can be calculated by KF into VM where VM is amplitude of message signal and KF is frequency sensitivity. And here FM that is frequency of message signal. So here you can understand bandwidth based on Carson's rule. This equation is very, very essential. The reason is usually we use this equation only. And sometimes there can be question like what is the minimum bandwidth of FM signal? Then always remember minimum bandwidth of FM signal that will be 2 FM only. And that is possible at modulation index is equals to 0 0.25, right? But usually bandwidth will be 2 into delta F plus FM, right? And as per this equation, as per this equation, total power that is covered up to 98 percentage of transmitted power. So usually if you consider this equation, then effectively we are covering 98 percentage of transmitted power. So usually we use this equation. Now there can be question like here we are talking about bandwidth of FM and that is minimum by 2 FM. If you have seen my earlier videos of amplitude modulation, then in amplitude modulation, bandwidth that was 2 FM for AM signal, for DSBSC, for SSBSC bandwidth is FM and for VSB bandwidth is FM plus FV. 
सो विथ ए एम सिग्नल वी नीड लोअर बैंडविड कंपेर्ड टू एफ एम सिग्नल राइट लेट मी शो इट टू यू सी इफ यू कंपेर बैंडविड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ए एम देन विथ डी एस बी एफ सी डबल साइड बैंड फुल कैरियर बैंडविड इज टू एफ एम विथ डी एस बी एस सी बैंडविड इज टू एफ एम विथ एस एस बी एस सी बैंडविड इज एफ एम विथ बी एस बी बैंडविड इज एफ एम प्लस एफ वी दैट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी परसेंट इज ग्रेटर कंपेर्ड टू एस एस बी एस सी राइट सो हियर इफ यू ऑब्जर्व दिस बैंडविड ऑफ ए एम सिग्नल्स देन दैट इज लोअर कंपेर्ड टू एफ एम राइट बट वन शुड नो सी हियर एफ एम इज हैविंग बेटर नॉइस इम्यूनिटी कंपेर्ड टू ए एम दैट्स वाई वी प्रीफर एफ एम ओवर ए एम अदरवाइज इन टर्म्स ऑफ बैंडविड ऑब्वियसली एफ एम रिक्वायर्स मोर बैंडविड I hope you have enjoyed this session. Still, if you have any confusion, just place that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.